Rivian has just unveiled its first serious in-house autonomy chip, and the importance of this moment is being widely underestimated. The processor, known as RAP1, is capable of executing roughly 1,600 trillion small calculations every second. In practical terms, that level of inference compute places it ahead of Tesla's current AI4 hardware and firmly in the same generation class as Tesla's upcoming AI5 chip. Yes, Rivian is reaching this point almost 10 years after Tesla began its custom silicon journey. That gap is real and it matters. Tesla has been designing autonomy hardware since the early 2010s. But this milestone still matters deeply because most global automakers are not even thinking about owning their own AI chip roadmap. They are still buying off-the-shelf parts and shaping their autonomy ambitions around supplier limitations. Rivian has now crossed a line that most of the industry has not even approached. That line is the difference between using intelligence and owning it. Much of the public discussion around Rivian's autonomy strategy has been dominated by sensors, especially LiDAR. Cameras versus LiDAR. Cost debates, redundancy arguments and weather performance dominate headlines. But those discussions miss the real constraint that defines modern autonomous systems. Sensors are inputs. Compute is the bottleneck. The ability to ingest enormous volumes of sensor data fuse that data reliably, run large neural networks under strict latency constraints, and make safe decisions inside the vehicle is what ultimately determines how far autonomy can scale. This is the same realization that quietly reshaped the entire AI industry over the last decade. That is where RAP1 changes Rivian's trajectory. RAP1 is a purpose-built automotive system on chip, designed internally by Rivian. It is not a general-purpose GPU and not a lightly customized supplier module. It is designed specifically to run perception, sensor fusion, prediction, planning and control workloads directly on the vehicle. The headline figure of 1,600 trillion operations per second refers to 1,600 sparse, INT, 8 TOPS, not dense compute. That distinction matters. Sparse acceleration allows the chip to skip unnecessary operations inside neural networks, dramatically improving real-world efficiency rather than just inflating theoretical benchmarks. This matters because autonomy workloads are dominated by exactly these operations, not traditional CPU-style logic. In practical terms, RAP1 can process up to 5 billion camera pixels per second, while simultaneously ingesting dense LiDAR point clouds and radar streams. This allows the vehicle to interpret its surroundings continuously, track objects across time, estimate depth and velocity, predict intent, and update driving decisions many times per second without relying on cloud inference. And critically, it does this inside a moving vehicle in real-world conditions with no room for failure. What makes this difficult is not raw performance alone, but sustained performance under automotive constraints. A vehicle cannot rely on data center power budgets or cooling systems. Automotive AI chips must operate within tight thermal envelopes, tolerate vibration, function across wide temperature ranges, and meet stringent functional safety requirements such as ASIL-D and ISO 26262. They must also behave deterministically, responding predictably under all conditions. RAP1 is designed specifically for this environment. This is where many consumer AI accelerators simply fail to translate to the automotive world. The chip is manufactured by TSMC on an advanced 5 nanometer class process, which explains how Rivian achieved this level of inference performance within vehicle power limits. Advanced nodes allow higher transistor density, lower power per operation, and better efficiency, all of which are essential for onboard AI. Choosing this node is also a signal that Rivian is not treating autonomy as a side feature, but as core infrastructure.
RAP1 sits at the center of Rivian's Autonomy Compute Module Generation 3, or ACM3. This is not a lab experiment. A CM3 is the hardware platform that will power Rivian's next generation of vehicles, starting with the R2. In its full configuration, the autonomy computer uses multiple RAP1 chips, allowing Rivian to scale compute headroom as autonomy capabilities expand. That scaling capability is what separates short-term demos from long-term roadmaps. To enable that scalability, Rivian built RivLink, its own low latency interconnect technology. RivLink allows multiple RAPE1 chips to be connected together so compute can scale horizontally without introducing unacceptable latency. In autonomy systems, data movement is often a bigger bottleneck than raw math, and Rivian's architecture shows clear awareness of that reality. Equally important is what sits above the silicon. Rivian has built an in-house AI compiler and platform software stack to map its models efficiently onto RAP1. This is a critical layer. Without tight compiler control, theoretical TOPS rarely translate into usable performance. The compiler governs memory scheduling, execution order, latency guarantees, and power behavior. Owning this layer allows Rivian to evolve its models without being constrained by third-party tooling. On the software side, RAP1 is designed to run Rivian's Large Driving Model, or LDM. This is Rivian's foundational AI model for driving, trained in a way similar to large language models but applied to real-world driving behavior. Rivian uses Group Relative Policy Optimization, or GRPO, to distill superior driving strategies from massive data sets rather than relying on brittle hand-coded rules. This marks a clear shift toward learned behavior at scale. Rivian has also clarified the deployment timeline. The full Generation 3 autonomy stack, including ACM3 and LiDAR integration, is currently undergoing validation with R2 vehicles expected to ship with this platform starting at the end of 2026. Rivian has been explicit that RAP1 is not limited to vehicles. The same architecture can power other physical systems, including robotics. That single detail reveals the deeper strategy. Once a company designs a capable AI processor, the economics of AI development change. Hardware becomes reusable infrastructure. Software becomes the main differentiator. Data becomes the compounding advantage. Tesla understood this years ago. Tesla began developing custom autonomy silicon more than a decade ago, long before autonomy became a mainstream conversation. In 2019, Tesla shipped its first in-house full self-driving computer, marking the moment it stopped being dependent on NVIDIA's roadmap and began controlling its own compute destiny. That decision quietly reshaped Tesla's entire future. Tesla's current production hardware, AI4, powers most new Teslas today. AI4 was a major improvement at launch, offering higher compute density and better efficiency than earlier systems. But AI4 also reflects design decisions made years earlier. It includes legacy hardware blocks and architectural compromises intended to preserve flexibility. Those compromises now limit how far Tesla's software can scale on that platform. Every mature platform eventually hits this wall. This is why Tesla is transitioning to AI5. Tesla has now publicly stated that AI5 has the potential to deliver up to 50 times total system level improvement over AI4, not just raw compute. The breakdown matters. Roughly a 10 times increase in raw compute, a 9 times increase in memory capacity, and about a 5 times improvement from hardened blocks, quantization, and softmax acceleration, combining into a claimed 50 times overall system improvement. This is not marketing math. It is architectural math. 
AI5's advantage is not just speed. It is memory locality, lower latency, higher efficiency, and the ability to run much larger models at full frame rate. This is what Tesla means when it says designing chips in-house unlocks efficiency no off-the-shelf part can match. Tesla removed legacy hardware blocks, eliminated unnecessary general-purpose flexibility, and optimized the chip tightly around its own neural networks and data flows. This level of specialization only appears after years of profiling real workloads across a massive fleet. This is where Tesla's decade-long head start shows. Manufacturing reinforces how serious Tesla is about this transition. A, i5 will be produced by both TSMC and Samsung at US Fabs in Arizona and Texas, backed by a $16.5 billion long-term agreement. Tesla has also stated that AI5 fits within a half-reticle design, improving yields and enabling large-scale production. Mass production is currently targeted around 2027. Tesla has confirmed that AI5 will be used not only in vehicles, but also in robotics, training and data centers, including the Optimus humanoid robot. AI5 is not just a car chip. It is Tesla's general purpose physical AI processor. Tesla already uses vehicle AI chips inside its data centers for certain workloads alongside NVIDIA hardware. Excess AI5 production is expected to spill into data center deployments and robotics. This creates a closed loop. Vehicles generate real world data. Custom chips process that data. Models improve. Those improvements flow back into vehicles and robots. Over time, this loop compounds Tesla's advantage. Rivian is earlier in this journey, but RAPE 1 shows the company understands the structure of the challenge. With roughly 1,600 trillion operations per second, RAP1 clearly surpasses Tesla's AI4 in raw inference capability. That alone is significant. Many automakers are still shipping vehicles with far less compute. RAP1 does not need to beat AI5 outright to be strategically successful. It only needs to be powerful enough, scalable enough, and fully under Rivian's control. Once a company owns its compute stack, iteration speed becomes the advantage. Each new generation can be designed faster. Software ambition expands without waiting for suppliers. Performance gains compound rather than plateau. There is also an economic dimension. By replacing supplier chips like NVIDIA Orin, Rivian expects to reduce per vehicle compute costs significantly over time. This mirrors Tesla's earlier transition. Custom silicon is expensive upfront, but cheaper at scale. Rivian's Autonomy Plus pricing at $2,500 upfront or $49.99 per month reflects confidence that in-house compute can scale economically. Beyond driving, Rivian is extending AI across the business through Rivian Unified Intelligence, or RUI. This shared AI foundation supports diagnostics, predictive maintenance, and customer-facing features. One of the first outcomes is the Rivian Assistant, a next-generation voice interface launching in early 2026, built on Rivian's own edge models and augmented by frontier large language models. It connects vehicle systems with third-party services through an in-house agentic framework, with Google Calendar confirmed as the first integration. Viewed side by side, the comparison becomes clear. Tesla's AI5 represents the refinement of a decade-long strategy. Rivian's RAP1 represents the beginning of one. Tesla has more data, more software maturity, and a tighter closed loop. Rivian has a smaller fleet, but now controls its own performance ceiling. So the real question is this. If Rivian can iterate its in-house chips fast enough, do you see it realistically? Challenging Tesla's AI lead over the next five years? Or is Tesla's head start already too large? Share your thoughts below 
And if you want the real story behind the world's fastest moving tech and AI breakthroughs, make sure to like and subscribe to Evolving AI for daily coverage.